I'm going to be sharing with you literally every single Instagram growth hack, method, or strategy that I've learned from my four plus years of running an Instagram growth agency, as well as some Instagram growth hacks that I haven't necessarily used, but I'm familiar with. So I thought this would be a really cool video to make to show you how many different ways there are for you to grow your Instagram account. And if you watch to the end of this video, I guarantee you're gonna be shocked at some of the ways that you can grow your Instagram account. But with that being said, I'm sure I missed a couple of methods. So if you wanna chirp me in the comments and you wanna let me know exactly what I've missed, drop some comments below and let me know what strategies I'm missing from this video. Before we start, make sure you're liked and subscribe to my channel. My name is Bobby, AKA the Influencer CEO. An Influencer CEO is a passionate entrepreneur who leverages social media in their business. So if that sounds like you or somebody you want to be, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we post every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday videos to help you blow up your social media. So here's how this video is gonna go. I'm literally going to spit fire every single Instagram growth strategy that I know, and then I'm gonna give a brief description about it. So these are going to be organic growth hacks and non-organic growth hacks. So judgment-free zone here. Uh, some of these are black hats. Some of these are against Instagram's terms of service, but that's okay. That's not what this video is about. I'm not gonna be going into details. Should you use this? Shouldn't you use this? I'm just gonna inform you what works or what strategies that I know of and let you make the decision on your own if you want to research them, if you wanna use them. And if you wanna know more about any particular strategy I mentioned, make sure to mention in the comments below. Let's start simple. First up, we have the follow unfollow method, which is exactly what it sounds like. All you do is you find a group of users, targeted users, similar to your Instagram niche, and you follow as many of them as possible in one day. With the hopes that they see a notification that you follow them, they check out your Instagram profile and follow you back. What you then do is after a day or two, unfollow all of the people that you followed so you can make room to follow more people and repeat the process until you've grown a solid Instagram fan base. And a really popular addition to this is using Instagram automation to automate this entire process so you don't have to be on your phone all day following and unfollowing people until your thumbs fall off. The mother slave method, which is essentially follow unfollow on steroids. The mother slave method is growing around 10 to 50 to 100 Instagram accounts at once using social media automation and having those accounts consistently drive traffic back to your account. Here's what it looks like. Let's pretend that I'm a soccer Instagram account. What I'll do is I'll make about 50 Instagram pages that are like viral soccer, soccer memes, or soccer pages and things like that. I'll then grow them with social media automation, maybe with a program like Jarvi to follow and unfollow people in their niche. And then I'll use a social media automation program to set a direct message. So every single time one of those accounts gets a new follower, it says, hey, you like soccer, go follow my main account at there. Now do the math. If you have 50 accounts doing 200 followers per day and they all get around 10 follows, you could see how things start to add up. And of course you could add more accounts and decrease more accounts. The shout outs. Influencer shout outs are where you find an influencer or somebody with a large or niche Instagram following to shout you out via post or story. You simply head over to their account, send them a DM, an email, whatever, asking them if they could shout you out. Sometimes it's paid, sometimes it's free, sometimes it's in exchange for value. And what they'll then do is they'll say, hey, go follow this person. And when their audience sees that they have mentioned you, they'll go over and they'll check out your account. Bonus points if they're, say, a snowboarding page and you're a snowboarding page, or if they're a large influencer, of course, that will increase the rates that they actually follow you back because your accounts are either similar or it's a trusted account leading it back to you. Next up, we have influencer giveaways. Now, influencer giveaways are like influencer shout outs, but with a value or an incentive, and also the process is a little bit different. So here's what it looks like. What you do is you find an influencer to host a giveaway. That giveaway will normally be something like free iPhone, Chanel bags, and things like that. Now, the followers of the influencer to enter the giveaway, what they need to do to win the iPhone or whatever is they need to follow the page that the influencer has mentioned. So the influencer will say something like, I'm offering 10 iPhones for free to enter. What you need to do is follow this page, which will be some random page. And then you need to follow all the followers of that page. 
So then everybody that wants to enter will go and they'll follow all the followers of that page, which will of course be you and anybody else that you entered the giveaway with. Now we have the page merge strategy and I'll admit that I've only done this a couple of times and I've never done it directly. I've only helped clients execute on this method. But here's what it is. Occasionally, Instagram will let you merge pages together. So let's say that you have a large following on Instagram and somebody creates a fake page of you and that page garners a significant amount of following. Let's say, you know, a thousand to five thousand followers. Instagram will on occasion let you merge that page because that page was grown under false pretenses and somebody was pretending to be you. So all of the people that followed your, that page thought that they were following you, so Instagram will let you combine it. Now for this uh, method to be executed, oftentimes you have to have an ad manager or you have to know somebody at Instagram or you have to set, uh, file countless requests. Now where the growth hack comes in is sometimes celebrities will hire people to grow fake fan pages for them. So they'll grow about 10 fan pages for a celebrity, let's say Chris Brown, let's throw out a random celebrity. They'll hire somebody like me to make around 10 Chris Brown fan pages that are fake. And then once those fan pages grow to around 10,000 followers each, that celebrity will then make an Instagram story post saying, hey, these, all these people are pretending to be me. They'll then file a claim with Instagram and Instagram will merge the pages. This is a very rare strategy and isn't done all too often. Another unique strategy we have is Instagram SEO and some people are masters of this. Instagram SEO, what it is, is essentially taking your link to your Instagram account and getting it featured in related articles. So for example, uh, a website or a Google search like the best male fashion accounts to follow on Instagram probably gets around 10,000 hits per day, if that, probably way more. Now, what you can then do is you can reach out to the author of this post and say, how much for you to feature me on this website? So let's say that you have a male fashion advice uh, page. What you would then do is you would then Google male fashion related articles that get a lot of traffic and ask to get your link put in, within the article. So um, it's really interesting because you know, like I said, pretend that you're a male fashion page, your uh, Instagram will then be featured in articles that get a lot of traffic, and then you know, you'll be featured there, they're already reading the article because they're interested in male fashion, and then they'll click back to your page. This can be done for everybody from vegans, to gymnasts, to fitness, to celebrity influencers, simply getting your Instagram link placed on a high traffic article um, will drive tons of followers back to your Instagram page. Next up, we have spam comments. This isn't exactly the most clean way to grow, but a lot of people do use this method. If you wanna see this method in action for yourself, go to like a DJ Academics page or any sort of big rap page. Go to the comments of any post and you'll see people spamming comments saying something like, um, you know, if you wanna see crazy videos, click on my profile. Essentially what you do is you hire an SMM panel, I think that's what it's called, and these panels are people that own thousands of Instagram accounts, and essentially you'll tell them what comment you want to post, and they'll take that comment and they'll spam it across multiple Instagram pages as many times as possible. So the idea is if you have an Instagram post that gets thousands of comments, uh, and tons of engagement. All these people are going and uh, engaging with this comment section. If your Instagram profile is listed there with a savvy comment like, you know, follow me if you like funny stuff, people will see your comments and go follow your Instagram page. You have power likes and power saves. So a power like is essentially when somebody with a large Instagram following likes one of your Instagram posts. Now what Instagram's algorithm does is when somebody with a large Instagram following likes your post, it will recommend your content to the followers of the large person that liked it. So for example, if Kim Kardashian liked one of your Instagram pictures, then for the next week or so, your Instagram content would be shown on the Explore page of all Kim Kardashian's fans. Now, it wouldn't be all of Kim Kardashian fans, it would be a small percentage, but it's still enough to gather a lot, of, a lot of attention to your account. Now, of course, you can pay for Instagram power likes. There are people that offer this service, and the whole theory behind it is if you get enough large accounts liking your content, you'll be on the Explore page of a lot of other people's profiles, and more people will see your content. The same thing with something like Power Saves. The idea is if uh, a large account saves your account, it will be shown on their Explore page. Um, yeah, power saves, power likes. I'm gonna take a quick break because I've just been spit firing and talking a lot to let you know that if you want the written article of all of these hacks, 
one by one, one through however many there are, as well as some resources of how to access, comment I want in below, as well as tell me what Instagram growth hack you're most interested. Next up we have engagement groups. Engagement groups are incredibly simple. You find a group of similar content creators and you get them to uh, start some sort of engagement group either on Telegram or through Instagram direct messages. And every single time you post, you guys make a pact that when one of you posts, the rest of you go and comment on their pictures. Now, remember when we talked about Instagram's algorithm little, like on power likes, the same uh, effect occurs. So if you have, let's say, 10 creators and you are, I don't know, a surfing page, your Instagram surfing page, and you are in an engagement group with 10 other surfers, every single time you post, they like and they comment on your content, your content will be shown to their fans, their fans will see your content and vice versa. It's a good way for everybody to grow together. Fan page method. The fan page method is essentially making a bunch of Instagram pages in your likeness that claim to be fans of you. Now this has a couple effects. One is it makes you seem really popular and really trustworthy. Let's say that you go to look up my Instagram account on Instagram at the influencer CEO, and underneath it you see fans of the influencer CEO, team influencer CEO, etc. It makes the original account look much more trustworthy and like a big power figure within Instagram because you have all of these people, all of these fans creating fan pages in your likeness. Two, you can grow all of these accounts separately, kind of like the mother slave thing where you're posting your content across multiple Instagram accounts and driving traffic back to your main account. You also increase the chance of going viral if you have your account um, spread upon, your content spread upon many accounts that are using separate hashtags. You get to kind of cover more area. You have viral face filters. Face filters is kind of Instagram's rip on Snapchat face filters. Instagram has a program called Instagram Spark AR that allows you to create your own custom Instagram face filters. Now these face filters are really silly, really cool, but the best part about them is you can create an Instagram face filter and if somebody uses it, it will directly link back to your account. So if you get an Instagram face filter to go viral and enough people use it, you'll get consistent traffic back to your Instagram account. If you wanna see this experiment for yourself, go to hashtag face filter or hashtag spark AR and you'll see that almost everybody that's consistently creating Instagram face filters has a large engaged following. Mass story views is probably the hottest, quickest, easiest way to grow on Instagram right now. Right now, there is a huge loophole in Instagram where you could watch up to a million Instagram stories every single day without consequence. So what you do is you automate your Instagram story views. And the idea is by watching up to a million Instagram stories every single day, random people will see you viewing their Instagram story and wondering who is this person and then they'll come back and check out your account. If your profile is good, if your account's looking good, they will follow you back. Next up we have phishing or spoofing. So this is when somebody hacks into your Instagram account either by brute force or by guessing your Instagram password, or by sending you some link that has you give up your Instagram credentials, what they'll then do is a log into your Instagram account and they'll shout out um, their original Instagram account via your Instagram account, or they'll send direct messages uh, that'll promote your Instagram account. You see this happen a lot with celebrities. Celebrities will get their Instagram accounts hacked and then what that Instagram account will end up doing is shouting out the original user. Yeah, using an alternative social media like YouTube or TikTok is an easy way to gain Instagram fame. Uh, for example, check out some of these TikTok accounts who are big on TikTok, TikTok, who are big on TikTok and as a result are also huge on Instagram and they also have incredible engagement because their fan base kind of gets to know them before they head over to Instagram. Now what's so cool about TikTok and Facebook and Instagram or in YouTube, excuse me, is that they directly allow you to link Instagram accounts back to the account. So it's super simple that if you have an, a video that blows up on TikTok, somebody will click on it and head back over to your Instagram account. So blowing up on TikTok is almost as much as blowing up on Instagram these days because the two are so closely coincided. Viral stunts, this is kind of the craziest one, which is essentially just do a viral stunt 
kind of blow up. We saw this happen last year at the World Cup or whenever the World Cup is where some girl streaked onto the football field and she gained a million followers in one day just by simply having her Instagram handle information available. People were constantly looking at her, wondering why she was streaking and then heading back to her Instagram account and she just blew up like that. So if you can find some way to go viral on another platform on the news or kind of get your name out there on external platforms, it will have effects where people come back to your Instagram account. Of course, the biggest Instagram growth hack of all time is simply have good content, have a vision for yourself, uh, lead your Instagram account with purpose and you know be there for a reason. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So there you go, that's every single Instagram growth hack that I could think of off the top of my head that I've either done myself or I have direct knowledge of or know people that do it. So let me know in the comments below, say I want in if you want me to give you the article version of this video that lists every single one and gives you resources if there are available for every single hack, comment I want in and also tell me what Instagram growth hack was your favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join the Influencer CEO movement. Uh, we also have a Facebook group. There's a link in the description below that is uh, for the Influencer CEO Facebook group, Mastermind, a social media mastermind to help you explode on social media. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.